Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Budget Planning Channel. I'm excited to be here today. I'm excited to be here with you getting into the weekly check-in. So let's get our apps, our tablets, our notebooks, whatever it is we're using to budget our weekly check-in. And let's go ahead and get in and see what the numbers are. We're going to go through my weekly check-in. I'm going to show you what we spent this past week, um, go over a couple comments that we've, I've had. And I thank you guys for commenting last week on my video. There were, I think there were new subscribers that didn't understand or had not seen past videos so they weren't familiar with my budgeting and kind of where I'm at and it actually was a blessing to me because it really did hone into some of my behaviors when you're spending spending is 80% behavior um, only 20% math is included <laughs> basically so when you're budgeting what you're seeing is 80% behavior and a weekly check-in is a great way to check in on your behaviors. So that is what we're going to do today. And I'm going to see if I have been naughty or not in my budget. Um, but I do thank you. Um, I did have several comments with Marie and she definitely pointed something out that was um, really good for me to hear and a great lesson um, because we were talking about over budget and the categories uh, for my weekly budget. I divide what I spend every month by the number of weeks I'm going to budget in. Um, and I, typically I do a five week budget every month, when there, whether it's two or three days at the beginning of the month or two or three days at the end of the month uh, week, that's fine. Um, I just kind of give myself enough money each week. And I also allow the money to carry forward to the next week if I don't spend it all. And I've been over budget in the eating out category and that confused her. So Marie, I do apologize that it was so confusing, um, but it did point out a behavior where I have lived a life of abundance for quite a while. My husband was getting paid well. Uh, we didn't have a lot of goals set as far as uh, emergency fund because we fully funded it over you know, last year or year and a half ago when we sold our previous house, we have that. So we, I didn't, I wasn't focused on that. Um, vacation was over, so I wasn't focusing on that. And I was just kind of, you know, kind of going through the motions of things. So thank you for the comments. Um, don't be afraid to comment if you're confused or unsure about something. I don't know if I can clarify it well enough, but uh, hopefully I am today. Um, we are a family of four adults, uh, me, my husband, and two adult sons. Um, my adult sons have autism and we commingle our money into um, where my son pays us rent. It comes into our account and then I take care of making sure the bills get paid. So they pay for part of part of like the utilities and part of the mortgage, uh, part of their money goes towards those things. I just get it all and in, in commingle it all and bring it into one. And then when it comes to spending categories, their stuff is included. So the money that I'm spending is not just for me and my husband, but it's for family and for adults. So I don't have little kids. I have grown adults, so <laughs> um, but they will be with us for the rest of our lives. So uh, their lives. And so that is where we kind of stand on that. So I think it's a little pricey and the numbers are kind of high and I've kept them high to make sure everything, everyone has everything that they want or need and, um, and what's best for them. So I hope that clarifies some of the things we have. Um, if you have more questions or something specific, let me know. But, um, the question about going over budget, why bother making a budget? If I'm going to allow myself to go over budget, that was a great, gut punch kind of question, but I appreciated it so much. So let's see if I stayed in budget this week and we'll go over the numbers. Grocery household this week, we need to be under $467.01. Restaurants, I only had $7.55. How did we do? I'll show you in a second. Um, miscellaneous, we had $309.48. We have not been spending out of this category. Um, this is the one category I was focusing not spending out of, not so much restaurants, um, because I knew we were using our savings. If you don't know, my husband in December, his last day at work was December 26th, and today's the 25th. So he has not been employed for an entire month. Now he's had interviews and he's going through processes and background checks and things like that for um, some jobs that he's applied for, ones with the state, one was the federal government. And in February, you guys will get to find out 
which one he took. And then we'll have a whole new budget set up. So, uh, but I don't want to go into details about that. We're just waiting on everything to fall into place and I'll let you guys know all the changes. But for right now we are using our savings. So I fully funded all of the money I would need for the entire month on January 1st and transferred the funds from our savings into our checking and have been paying the bills out of it like normal, as if he got a paycheck. And same thing with the weekly check-in. So that is that. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the spending calendar. So I like the spending calendar. Uh, I like sharing that and showing that to you guys. And it is true that we have spent less. I have more no spend days this month than any other month in a really, really long time. So as you can see on the calendar, I have these little stickers say so no spend and they're multicolored. These stickers are Sarah Marie stickers. So if you're interested, I have a link to her Etsy store in the um, description um, box below. Um, going into February, I will have more of my own that I'm printing cut. I don't sell stickers, but I'm going to do my own. Um, these other ones back here, these are mine, but these are hers. So I, I'm excited about that. I do miss buying her stickers, but I am not spending every month like I was um, because I know my husband's job is going to be paying him less, whatever job he does get, than what he was getting paid before. So I just kind of want to reduce as much of the budget as possible um, until he gets whatever pay that he's going to be getting. Okay, so I have my notes here. We're going to go over what I've spent. It's not a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we had um, one, two, three, three days of snow, four days of snow here, and then the rains came on Monday, and then all the snow was gone Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, and, and it's probably not going to come back if we get snow. I don't think it's going to be like what it was. We were like negative uh four degrees in the morning and then it would get up to like 19 degrees in the afternoon for two or three days there so it was pretty cold but luckily no pipes burst and um we were warm and the power didn't go out so we were very thankful for all of those things um, we're going to do grocery household first that's what gh stands for here at the top and the first one is um 49 so i had to do a split between an one Amazon purchase total and pull out what was grocery household and then pull out what was miscellaneous. So um, I got the grocery household that usually means supplements or that means um, some kind of uh, powder drink like liquid IV hydration. I think here I bought two of those bags. They're about 20, they're pretty much 24, 23, $24 each. And they come in 14 packs, um, but it's a hydration multiplier and they came out with sugar-free that I do not have a bad, bad reaction to. I am so thankful for that because I am allergic to NutraSweet, uh, aspartame, whatever you want to call it, and um, I needed something that was sugar-free. So $49 there. The other other half of the Amazon order I'll talk about when I get to miscellaneous. Um, and then I went and did a big grocery order for $184.03 to replenish what we were cooking at home over the weekend and stock up with some things for next week. And then there were things I wanted to get that I forgot to put in the order, so I had to run inside after... Um, before I picked it up or after I picked it up uh, 6308 and a lot of it was like I wanted s several um, chicken broth or um, beef broth and then I got the for future reference I got bouillon cubes in chicken and beef as well so if the store didn't have any I can make my own or I can just use those to make my own in the future because that's what I like to do but I usually use the box liquid of um, beef broth or chicken broth to do chicken pot pie to season all the vegetables and the chicken and all that stuff or soups or whatever and uh, beef broth as well so um, I bought a whole bunch of things there because <laughs> they're not cheap anymore 
at all. Name brands are not cheap at all. Uh, I can't remember anything else about that day, but I did get that. And then, um, but I went and bought groceries today. Uh, my son's requested mouthwash, so I buy a large container that's ten eleven dollars. Toothpaste that was a little expensive because he has dry mouth issues, so I do the dry mouth toothpaste for him. And toothbrushes, I stocked up on those. I stocked up on. Um, body wash for one of my sons he likes to use and then um, I got some odds and ends stuff that I still needed uh, like celery and carrots and stuff for the soups and all that so all that totaled up to 146.62 I am not checking these off am I all right so there's that that and that so that is the grocery household for the week so let's see if I stayed within budget for that All right, so I spent $442.37. So that is excellent because that is below what I had budgeted. It was very close, but it was below that. So that is cool for $42.73. Did not eat out, no restaurants. Um, obviously it snowed which helped and um, again I was tempted here on Wednesday but decided not to and that worked out really well so I I didn't spend that seven dollars and go over budget this week thank you for the encouragement and reminder that I don't um, that just because I have it in the account cash wise doesn't mean um, I can go over budget every week so I appreciate that uh, miscellaneous so I have one miscellaneous 137.52 here um, my husband needed um, just basic things that you kind of replenish um, and get rid of old and get new so like socks underwear things like that t-shirts undershirts and stuff like that and I'm trying to think of what else sweatpants that was another thing that he got filters for his um, car egg and um, a few other things there was one splurge in there I got a Lego kit um, for myself and um, the reason I got a Lego kit is because me and my family um, loved watching the Mandalorian and I have a display at home that I wanted to kind of put on our bookcase and so this Lego kit right here that was the N1 um, Starfighter, I think they called it. Um, but there's Mando and there's Little Robot and the Mechanic and Grogu. And I also have a Build-A-Bear Grogu. And that came from one of my, oh, you can't even see that. One of my um, trips to GalaxyCon. This here. Um, so I was decorating the shelf and I wanted uh, some Legos to go there because I have like up here um, Doc Brown and... Uh, Marty McFly which is from Back to the Future so I kind of do Lego kits to go with some of the themes of autographs that we get and um, I, I'm excited to get more autographs for this. My son has some but he wouldn't let me display them so I was not happy but that's okay. But yeah we we like decorating <laughs> with Legos. Um, my husband has a ship in a bottle that we need to find and pull back out um, that my father-in-law got us. Um, things like that. So we love Legos in our family. Our youngest son loves and builds Legos all the time. So it's definitely one of those things. So we have uh, here, but that was part of that purchase and um, a bunch of odds and ends stuff that were miscellaneous that we got from uh, Amazon and that kit, Lego kit was on sale for like 38 bucks or something like that so it wasn't too bad for a Lego kit that was really good and it's a discontinued kit so it's hard to find um, copay so we did have I did have uh, a prescription and I had um, an appointment so that was 416 and 25 so that is 29.16. I also have one bill here and this bill um, I will include when I come back to figure out uh, how much I owe the credit card. So all of this spending is on the credit card and every week I get on here with you and you hold me accountable and I pay my credit card. I've already paid it in advance before I came on here so this is already taken care of and I know the number but I want to share it with you as well. 
Okay, so let's take the budget amount and subtract what we spent. That's 467.01 minus the 442.73, and I have $24 left over. That's awesome. $24.28. Um, that's already paid for. I did not spend anything in restaurants, and that was $7.55. And then I still had $309. 48 in miscellaneous and because I had so much um, put aside in my bank account for that when I when I found out my husband needed things um, like socks new socks so he's you know wore out the old socks and need new socks things like that that's what this miscellaneous category is for odds and ends stuff that didn't fall under the other categories and so um, I didn't mind spending you know, over $100 on a bunch of needs all at once. So um, I do. I probably will do this again because my sons probably need updating in their, some of their wardrobe garments, so we'll see. Um, so minus the 137.52 and that gives me 171.96 left over. All right, and then I had zero unbudgeted. We didn't have anything that we need to be concerned about, so we didn't spend anything outside the budget. Uh, the copay and gas I don't put on here because they don't go over, and I don't go negative in those areas very often, so I'm not too concerned about that. These are the ones I'm concerned about. So look, I'm back all in the black. Thank you guys for keeping me accountable. And so now we're gonna take the numbers that I have, and as you can see in this first budget here, this is what I planned for every week, but I carry balance it forward with anything that's left over, so I add it together. So like with the $24.28 left over, I add the 320 to it, because um, this is the last week of January, and that's like a week's worth of groceries to me, so, or that could cover groceries for the week, even though I just bought a bunch of groceries. I probably won't need all of that for next week. Um, it just depends if I'm buying meats that week, if I'm buying toll trees that week, if I'm buying whatever I need for the house or uh, groceries, that's where that money comes from. And since we were snowed in, we didn't have, you know, a lot of reason to get out. We didn't spend as much and I've been doing a lot of grocery pickup. So I'm not going around the store, wandering around buying things I don't need. So we're going to take the two... 40 or 24 28 and add the 320 so I have a new budget amount for this week 3 44 28 and that'll take me to the 31st of the month and we are good January or February 1st is my new start for the new month and so it's a whole new budget I always start on the first of the month not everybody can do that um, we just happen to get paychecks on the first of every month. So, um, and then I have to spread it out throughout the entire month to make sure everything gets paid for. Now, if you're somebody who likes to do savings challenges and games and stuff and uh, build up money in small amounts for other things, um, like your sinking funds or vacation or, um, just fun money or whatever it is that you are trying to accomplish. Um, having a balance left over in the week, um, cash left over, if you are pretty rigid and routine in how you budget your um, grocery household, restaurants, and all that stuff, you you can use that as your cash to do your savings challenges with. I don't do savings challenges. I don't have a lot of things that I'm trying to save up for the future. Our biggest goal financially is to pay off the house. That is the baby step we're on with um, Dave Ramsey. Um, if you follow Dave Ramsey method, um, we already did the snowball, me uh, snowball method to get rid of the debt. And we're not saving up for college for our kids because um, one, they don't want it. <laughs> you know, I don't think we could afford it if we wanted to. Um, so we're good there, and my husband already got his master's degree with being paid for by the Navy, so that's taken care of. But, um, you know, all these baby steps, so we are putting away 
investments um, are my Roth IRA, uh, my husband has his, and that is outside of what we have here. I don't show those numbers, but I do um, think that if somebody was motivated, they could take what's left of each week and then start fresh every week with these numbers. And that would be excellent. I just, that's not my rhythm, that's not my style, but yeah, you could totally do that. And that would be a lot of fun. So I have my grocery household. Now we're going to add $100 to this. I don't even need a calculator for restaurants. So we have 107.55 for this last week of January. That means my sons um, will order their pizza night and then my husband and I will figure out what we're gonna do. Um, and miscellaneous, I have 171.96. I give myself $100 a week and that is 271.96. And that is the beginning there. I always, oops, budget a zero amount for unbudgeted. But if I have to use it and pay for it out of uh, a buffer, the checking account, um, then I will use that. Um, but this is the new beginning. And then when I do my closeout budget for the month of January, um, you'll see the weekly check-in closeout and paycheck three closeout all in one video. And that closes out my checking account for the entire month. Each um, set of things I do, the monthly budget, the paycheck to paycheck, the weekly check-in, they all roll in together and guide me into the next budget. So, um, and, it, and it all comes to a close at the end. So to me, it's very fluid and it's very routine to do it this way. Um, but not everything and everyone does it this way and that's okay. Um, always find what works for you. Uh, budgeting is very personal and it's different for everyone. The way your mindset is put and decisions you make with your partner or your spouse or your family, those are the things that are going to affect how you do your budget and what money you're working with. So that is important to pay attention to. Um, this is just how we run ours and everybody in my family just puts it all on me to decide. So there you go. Um, yeah, they don't like budgeting except for me <laughs> and that's okay. So now I know everything that we spent Let's go ahead and kind of take a look at what I owe the credit card. So the way I figure out how much I owe the credit card is I take everything that we spent and found out any bills that got placed on the credit card. And I only had one bill placed on the credit card and that was this one here. This one um, was the only one I hadn't paid yet. These, this, these two bills actually came out early and I paid it here that Thursday. So this came out of the checking account. This hasn't happened and this hasn't happened. So if it's highlighted blue, that means it went on our visa where um, our credit, uh, the charge went to the credit card. So I, I know this is the only one I need to cover and that is what I'm gonna do here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the numbers. All right, so I have a total of $648.58 total that I owe the credit card. And when I make that made that payment, it brought my credit card back to zero and I don't owe anything. I'm not paying any interest um, on what I purchased. And that is the goal. That is the hard goal that you have to discipline yourself to decide how to do this. So for me, it took two or three years of using a debit card only and being uh, getting that fear of going over a budget with my checking account and not wanting those uh, non-sufficient funds, uh, bank fees and things like that to get used to the rhythm of paying it off 
uh, using the credit card and paying it off every week. So um, I did it with my debit card for my checking account first, and then I slowly transitioned to put everything on the credit card and paying it off weekly. And it's worked for me for a couple, two or three, three years now, three or four years now. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm so happy that we could do this and it works for me. So there you go. But I don't recommend it for everybody because if you're somebody that can't control how often you swipe the credit card or purchase something and look at the websites and stuff like that, using Apple Pay easy, it, sometimes it's too easy. Um, I definitely would not recommend a credit card. So yeah, that is my weekly check-in and that is all I have for you today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing and blessed day. Bye. As a young girl, it feels we're mine. We played hide and seek for hours. Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care